He's a Chicago chef, pit master, and was even featured on season one of Gordon Ramsay's Food Stars. Tony Ballesteri, CEO and founder of Tony B's Steak Chips, okay. joins us now to show off a recipe using his steak chips and burger banger seasoning. That's Ooh, right. What a name. Yeah. Right? How'd you, you come up with that? So it just uh, it just came to me. So like on the fifth episode of Gordon Ramsay's Food Stars, I made the cheeseburgers, and everybody's like, well, what are you going to call it? I'm like, man, it just bangs. Yeah, like, it just bangs. Yeah. It just adds, like, that the little extra seasoning that you want in, you know, a burger and in anything else. Uh -huh. So, like, it's just, you just want to bang it. So okay, that's, that's okay. where it came from. Okay. <laughs> and any type of protein this is good with? Any type of protein. Okay. Uh, today we're using it with asparagus, so mm -hmm. I'm going to show you the versatility. It can be really good in vegetables as well. Okay, so, like, that's fantastic. Okay. In the morning, I use it on eggs, potatoes, broccoli, uh, fish, chicken, steaks, oh, okay. uh, oh, absolutely kind of everything. So oh. if you use salt and pepper on it, you might as well just bang it. Okay, okay. <laughs> all right, I like that. Fun. Okay, so how are you doing your asparagus here? Uh, so asparagus, we pre-blanched uh, and shocked it. So okay. we like boiled it and then put it in an uh, ice bath just okay. to stop the cooking process. And now we're just sauteing it. So we want to get like some color on it, using our burger banger on that just to show you a little versatility And what versatility kind of oil of was that? that that you use? Uh, this is just vegetable oil. You okay. can use okay. any kind kind of like neutral oil that you want, uh, coconut oil to add a little bit more flavor. Okay. Um, you can even use olive oil if you want. Okay. Oh. And is this now available in stores or on your website? This is available on my website, okay. eatsteakchips.com. Got it. Okay. okay. All right. Then how did the steak chips become a part of the whole seasoning? So I'm, uh, I was uh, originally from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and I grew up eating beef jerky, you know, road okay. trips, just like, you know, just snacking, stinking up the whole car. Yeah. And I had the opportunity to be a head chef at a brewery on the south side. Okay. Okay. And I was just doing some R&D, research and development, yeah. and just kind of did a little three things like wrong. And <laughs> it just, I came back the next day and I had this product and I'm like, this isn't exactly what I was trying to make. And then one of my friends was like, oh, it's a chip, stupid. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. Because beef it, jerky is just, it's too much. And a lot of people are looking for the snack that's keto friendly and like low carb. Exactly. And, and there's there's so many beef jerky companies yeah. out there. It's hard to compete, especially with like Jack Links and yep. like the big brands mm, yep. that, you know, that own their own, uh, their, their, cat, their cattle and stuff like that. Right. So you know. Okay, so this is the steak chips. Yes. Can we try it? Absolutely. Okay. This is the teriyaki. Teriyaki, because yep. we got four different flavors. Yes, we do. And you warned we shouldn't eat this whole thing like whole. We yes. have to just kind of break it off a little bit. Yeah, it's like a potato chip. So like, if you're gonna put mm -hmm. it the whole mm -hmm. thing in your mouth, you're gonna get a lot of flavor. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. That's good though. Mm, yeah. Alex, so you made this sandwich. This is an old school sandwich. Yeah. So it's like a nostalgia sandwich mm -hmm. from when I was a child. You know, always putting potato chips on Fritos, my turkey sandwich. Yep. You know, mm -hmm. jumping out of the pool. Uh -huh. So now oh, wow. it's an adult an adult sandwich, mm -hmm. so we can put protein on it, but it's also delicious. So it's like a BLT with turkey. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just a fun sandwich. Oh, Man, I love all the layers <laughs> of flavor in here. Thank you so much. And that like, was just one little teep, yep. tiny bite at yep, yep, And you'd actually chew it. And you actually, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and your mouth doesn't feel like you just did a thousand push-ups yes. with it. Right. So you can right. still talk uh -huh. afterwards and you're full. Mm -hmm. so each bag has 21 grams of uh, 21 grams of protein in it, mm -hmm. and around 120 calories. Oh, mm -hmm. Wonderful! That's amazing. amazing. In the whole bag. In oh, the whole in the whole bag, and less I, than uh, less than two or less than a gram of sugar, mm -hmm. and Ooh. three grams of fats. Awesome. awesome. So you just saute that for a few minutes. Yeah. There. Yeah. Got some color on it. Uh, you can kind of, you can definitely see the, mm -hmm. the specs of the seasoning on it. Mm -hmm. And the one of the best things about this seasoning is that it doesn't have a lot of sodium in it. Oh, good. So if you want something to taste a little bit more flavorful. You can add more seasoning to it, and it won't be overly salty. That's good okay. to know. Okay. All right. So then, what comes next? Oh, a poached uh, egg. Yeah, we just Ooh. poached an egg. So poached. obviously, this is you know we're still kind of like in the morning. Yeah. 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 So we are going to uh, be cooking a little bit of breakfast. Okay. Fun. So steak, eggs, asparagus. A little bit of hollandaise. So Ooh. you got fancy, like a fancy breakfast and a healthy breakfast too. Overall. And it's healthy. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so this are, so that's one way how you can fix it and use your banger. Oh, look at it, put a little yeah. chips on. Oh, so you're using the peppercorn, Sichuan peppercorn? Yeah, the Sichuan peppercorn, uh, just to, just to, for a little bit of garnish and some texture. Yeah. So one thing that I'm huge on is is texture. So like mm -hmm. if I'm eating something, I want something to have like a little bit of crunch to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So here's just like one, one chip mm -hmm. like this. Oh, yeah. wow, look and it that. crumbles right up. So now oh, nice. you have steak and eggs. Steak and eggs. Because it's got all the protein in it, right? Absolutely. And then okay. we're going to add a little bit more razzle-dazzle to it. Okay. 
Now, I'm seeing some other seasonings yeah. up here. What's that? Yeah, so this is uh, my newest seasoning that I'm coming out. It's the all season banger. Okay. So when I came out with the burger banger, people kept asking, like, hey, Tony, like, it's for burgers. What else do I put it on? And I'm like, man, like anything that you use salt and pepper on. But they but didn't get that. Exactly. They didn't get that. So yeah. now, all season banger. It all has, season. you know, a steak, it has a fish on it, you got a chicken on it, and then we kept the burger okay. on there. Okay, so okay. you gotta you gotta spell it out. Exactly. Yes. You know, you yes. gotta yeah. Spell so it out. This is uh, on pre-sale on my website, eatsteakchips.com. Mm. It ships in about two weeks. And you can oh. order so the chips there too, correct? Absolutely. Obviously. Everything, everything that you see here, including my hat and my shirt, Amazing. you can get at eatsteakchips.com. <laughs> right. 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 We love it. Oh, Tony, thank you. So it's called eatsteakchips.com. Yes. These are delicious guys. We'll try try some breakfast. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. okay. Well you're gonna try that. <laughs> okay.